Next, please. Buenas. Do you have your paperwork? Uh, no. It's under the name Nori Maltby and Pauline Mamelood. Ah, yes. I remembered you. The crazy lady and the fat, crazy son. That's right. Now, I... I beg your pardon. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, do you mind? Now, what seems to be the hold-up? Please, one crazy lady at a time. It's all right. We're together. One twin room under the names Maltby and Mahmoud. I've told him once. Where is your confirmation? Look, young man, let's start as we mean to go on. Each minute you're wasting here is coming out of our holiday. Where's the manager? That's right. We want the organ donor, not the monkey. Hey, why are you calling a monkey? You know what she meant. Don't be playing the racist card with me, my friend. I've just spent four years married to a Saudi. This is the first time I've been in the sun without a blanket on my head. What's going on here? Mateo, get that pool bar open. Race who's next? Yes, my mother and I wish to check in. Here are our passports. We do not have our confirmation. Oh, don't worry about that. Half the people staying here can't even spell their own surname. Why do I get the impression this holiday was not a good idea? Oh, my God. This place doesn't change much, does it? It's like an Amarouse about a film. Says Madge Baron, the bride of Frankenstein. My surname is Harvey. Sure, I've seen that woman somewhere before. That was it. She was in that programme where they all had embarrassing illnesses. Everything downstairs had collapsed. She had to wear five pair of knickers to get out the house without leaving a trail. I think I'm going to be sick. Looks like she's only got a couple of pairs on today. I saw that one. That ain't her. That woman had blotchy legs as well. Hers look all right. Oh, do we have to? <coughs> I might have a salad today. You don't want out heavy when it's hot, do you? Must have had this cosy five years. It washes really well. In that pool of lovely blue. Oh, for Christ's sake. What's wrong with you? Do we have to sit here and listen to this drivel just because none of us are allowed to mention the Lady Mucks in Shit Street? Here we go. Here we go what? We sat all night not mentioning it, now all morning. Not mentioning what? You're penniless, homeless and in debt up to your eyeballs. Your problems aren't going to go away just because we don't talk about them. Yes, my late husband may have made a few mistakes. But don't you forget, as you sit there with a beer in one hand and a cig in the other, just how much he gave you while never asking for a penny in return. Now look what you've done. No, oh, for crying out loud. Where are you going? Getting a coffee. Two sugars, please. Get it yourself. <laughs> now there's a surprise. Mick Garvey, public enemy number one. You all right, Michael? Do you want anything? Oh, what's going on? Your father's being a dickhead as usual. All oh, right. Funny that. What were the odds of that happening? What do you mean? I mean, we're both staying in the same hotel. Who'd have thought we'd run into each other again so soon? But it's not that big. And there's only one pool. Yeah, that was kind of my point. <laughs> anyway, better go and count me flip-flops. No, wait a minute. I was wondering if you wanted to do something tonight. Depends what you had in mind. Oh, you're so... Beautiful. I just want to grab you. <laughs> you do realise you just said that out loud? Sorry. Sometimes things just come out of my mouth. I meant, like, I once had this puppy. 
I called it Keith and I just wanted to squeeze it and squeeze it, you know, because it was so cute. And I'm assuming Keith is no longer with us. No, he died. There's a surprise. No, no I didn't kill him. No, 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 Keith died of old age. Well, at least the story's got a happy ending. So, do you fancy going on a date? Promise not to squeeze you to death. Oh, that's really sweet, Liam, but I'm not 100% available. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll take the bit that is available. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. I would prefer all of you. She's shagging barman. That's not true. Which one? No, I'm not, sh I'm not seeing anyone. I used to go out with the barman, but I don't anymore. I'm single. The one she nearly married, but he accidentally forgot about her when she finished her holiday. Funny that. So I have to go and stand on my friend's neck for a bit. So, so you, 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 are, you are single then? Yeah, I'm single. Cool. <laughs> cool. You really are genuinely hilarious. <laughs> Aren't I? No. You still haven't spoken to him, have you? No, I haven't, and I'm not going to. Listen, I was thinking about checking out a few clubs tonight. Let us know how you get on. Wondered if you fancied it. No, cos it's actually us that are together. Me and Natalie. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I don't make sense now. She's winding you up. Well, I thought you looked a bit dykey, but I didn't want to say anything. But, you know, listen, I'm totally cool with it, cos, I mean, my dad's a transvestite, so... So let's all have a big lesbian transvestite party. Cool. We're not lesbians. I don't even like her very much. Yeah. We'll come out with you tonight. Uh, excuse me? What else are we gonna do? Oh. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> I knew you were too hot to be a rug muncher. I'll see you both tonight. <laughs> Seriously, you do not fancy that, do you? Of course I don't. But he's quite funny. I knew you were too hot to be a rug muncher. It's gonna be such a lovely evening. <laughs> What I tend to do is get a little spot just over there, not too far away from the bar, but... No, 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 no. Sun is too direct there. Do you want to die of skin cancer? Is that what you want to do? Well, not really. I tend to use a high-factor cream. Plus, I don't really... No, no. this way. Come on, this way. Oh, hello. Your other friend not with you? No, he's had to go... Come on. Oh, you know all the movers and shakers, don't you? That's Noreen. She usually comes on holiday with her son, but he's obviously grown out of all that. How old was he? About 46. Well, it looks like Noreen's found herself a rather forceful young lady friend. It must be her daughter. Yeah, right. Have you never seen the killing of Sister George? Come the end of this holiday, them two will be dressing like Laurel and Hardy and smoking cigars. You texting Troy? Yes. Funny, isn't it? He's sitting by his father's deathbed and you're on holiday slapping on the Factor 20 and knocking back the sangrias. What do you mean by that? I don't mean anything by it. The only reason I agreed to proceed with this holiday is because I don't know Troy's father. I would just be in the way. Yeah, absolutely. Troy hardly knows his father. It's a very difficult situation. I hear you, sister. And if I may remind you, the only reason you are on this holiday is because Troy was generous enough to let you take his place. Oh, he was. Hola. New menus. Oh, ta. Just about due a nose bag. Thank you. What is nose bag? It's what they put on a horse when he has his dinner. Ah, like bag with food for the horse. That's right. A nose bag. <laughs> like this. <laughs> See anything you like? Oh, yes. He means on the menu. Oh, right. Um, I'll have the steak, please. Very rare. Just a faint pulse. And for you? There's absolutely nothing I can have. She's on a diet. Green salad with dressing on the side. So that's a rare steak for one hungry horse and dry salad for one starving cow. 
Gracias. De nada. Uf. I think he needs one of my special back rubs. You're probably the only breathing thing here he hasn't been with. Well, even you. Ugh, certainly not. Just about everyone else, though. Oh, I'm not bothered. When it comes to sloppy seconds, I don't mind bringing up the rear. Sorry, love. These sunbeds belong to someone. I think we've got somebody's sunbeds. Hello, love. I'm sorry. Are these yours? There are no towels here. These are free. I've just told you they're not free. Oi, what do you think you're doing? I've just said these are our sunbeds. Come on, let's have you. Did you just touch me? Did you just touch me? What's wrong with her? No, I never went anywhere near you. I just want our sunbeds back. Oh, come on. Right. No. 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 I'm not giving it to you. I'm not giving it to you. What's going on? I'm not giving it to her. So this Leslie Less thing, why do you do it? I've never really thought about it. <laughs> Are you two different people? Well, kind of. It's all experience. I mean, you are not like a vampire or a werewolf. When do you change? Do you still have your uh, pee pee? Yes? All right, dumb and dumb. Let's get the bar cleaned up. Hey, I've done all the mixes this morning. I've cleaned up the drinks machine and I've topped up all the spirits. And what have you done? Don't worry, I know. Buffed your nails, done your hair, flicked through a copy of American Vogue. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes it's difficult to tell which one's on the change. <laughs> Why do you do all these things and make me look bad, huh? If a pattern emerges, look to yourself. I don't know what that means. Look, if I look after my side of things and you look after yours, everybody will get on jumping, you one. Really? That's what you think. One large honky tonk and one regular witch's tit. Lovely. Thank you, Leslie. How are the new cocktails going down? Oh, chopping, man. Chopping. The kids can't get enough of them. I think it's the funny names that they like, you know. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, hello. Are these seats free? Absolutely. Grab some plastic. <laughs> it's Don, isn't it? Donald and Jacqueline. You remember Noreen? Hello again. Hello. This is my daughter, Pauline. Uh, great to meet you. It's very hot. Oh, you've hit the high season, all right. Do what we do. Drink plenty of liquids and sleep in the nude. Mm -hmm. I don't think I shall be sleeping in the nude. I've seen the bedding. Oh, you sound foreign. Pauline lived in South Africa for 10 years. Now she's in Dubai, we're having this holiday to catch up before she moves back properly to the UK. Oh, lovely. Do you like it here? Not really what I've seen of it so far. We asked for a low-level apartment. They've put us on the 11th floor. Well, they say we're on the top floor and I have no head for heights. <laughs> Plus Donald sleepwalks as well. We had a siesta yesterday afternoon, and he stumbled out onto the balcony, still asleep, climbed over it and sat right on the edge. He was swinging backwards and forwards, and you could see people down below terrified he was going to toss himself off. We could have a walk into Benidorm if you wanted. I think that's a good idea. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Handsome woman. Oh, yeah. Right, we've got work to do. Oh, yeah. What are they doing? Yeah, no. Oh. oh. 
It doesn't bear thinking about. And make sure you don't ask them either. If you show the remotest interest in them, next thing you'll know, you'll be dangling upside down from a crucifix wearing a rubber corset. Wouldn't be the first time. Rich, who's the Virgin Mary? That'll be me. And you must be the angry dwarf. I ordered it for you. It's supposed to be quite nice. So you boys enjoying your holiday? I've been before, so it's not so much enjoying, more tolerating. Hey, you look good a better all-inclusive than this, you know. Plus, we've got the best pool in Benidorm. He's only joking. This is his fourth time. You must be doing something right. But you're new here. Oh, aye. Aye, it's me first week. They decided it was time for a bit of fresh meat. Any cheesy nibbles for you? Oh, not for me, thanks. Gavin, would you like to try Leslie's cheesy nibbles? Oddly enough, no. Gavin's on a diet. Oh, I know what you mean. I used to struggle with my weight. Used to. But for some reason, when I hit 40 last year, <laughs> the weight just fell off. And ever since then, I've been lucky enough to maintain my schoolgirl figure. Aye. Oh, better. Isn't that one of those schoolgirl figures Jamie Oliver keeps campaigning against? <laughs> Top form. <laughs> right, ma'am, let's be having you. What do I want to go to a water park for? Well, oh, you know you want to. I could just see you coming down one of them big slides on your scooter. I thought we agreed we were all going. Well, I've changed my mind. Oh. Well, all right, we'll go later in the week. Oh, Nana, please, please, please. I really wanted to go today. To be honest, I just want to spend a bit of time on my own. Bit of time on your own? You've been here on your tabs for the past six months. And that's how I like it. You go. Well, give me a chance to get a few bits from the indoor market. Well, we'll only be a couple of hours. See you later, ma'am. Nana, I've got the money I saved up for my holidays. But it's all inclusive, so I don't really need it. Oh, I don't want your money, darling. You go and enjoy yourself, you... Jesus, how much is that? Just about 200 euros. Tell you what, you give me that to look after, and if I see anything nice, I'll get it for you. All right. See you later. Another coffee, Mrs Yitch? No. I'm off to get my hair done. <laughs> Hold your horses. Your mother wants a lolly. Do you not want an ice cream, Michael? I'm not bothered. I just want to get in. Yeah, well, you can only go in with a responsible adult. Oh, don't say that. I wanted to go in with my dad. <laughs> well, hey, he's learning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, what's the hold-up? All the lollies will be out of date by the time we get to the front. No. Look at the one I'm pointing to. That is not Minchok Chip. What you're showing me is Minchok Chip. Why don't you have another one of them slush drinks? I don't want another slush drink. The last one gave me brain freeze. All right, well, this man. What? Didn't he have his brain frozen in case they found out how to bring people back to life? I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me, there's people back here spitting feathers. Oh, it's you. I might have guessed. She's just using an ice cream. This is a cue. I'm at the front of it, you're at the back of it. Deal with it. Bloody hell, did she keep the receipt from the charm school? The more you're breathing down my neck, the longer it's going to take me to decide. You do understand that, don't you? She doesn't want to slush because it freezes her brain. Can you not get one that freezes her gob? Oh, come on. I'm not bothered about a lolly. We'll get one later. Oh, hello. Why don't we get you a lolly when we get ours? Because the park shuts at seven, and the way she's pissing about will still be stood here. Do you mind? I don't take kindly to that kind of language. Hey, go, Mum. Hey, where'd you get them? There's another shop on the corner. It's no queue. Mm. Wait, what, what are you doing? Get can See you later. Mm. Hello, hello. <clears throat> All right for a drink, thank you. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. 
He was a good man. Yes, he was a good man. I remembered your wedding on the beach. Beautiful day. Yeah. When the fat man drop kicked him from the parachute, I thought it was all over for St. Joe Harvey then. No. He was made a stern stuff. Mm. Do you remember the morning he nearly drowned in the pool? I think this was the day before he was almost killed by an electric juicer. He had his scrapes, I'll give you that. And the time he was nearly barbecued when his mobility shop burned to the ground. All yeah. right. Just fuck off now. I was just, how'd you say, reminiscing. Really? Well, if you don't frig off, people around here will be reminiscing about that waiter who got run over by an electric scooter. Finding your feet then? Oh, yeah, certainly beats being on my hands and knees, old dear. <laughs> what did you do before you started, dear? Actually, I don't want to know. Right, there's a time to chat and there's a time to work. Now there's a time to work. You could do with taking a leaf out of his book. Whatever book he has, I do not want to read it. It means you should be more like him. You want me to come to work dressed like this? You know what I mean. So you have not been hearing the complaints? What complaints? Some of the parents of the children, they are concerned. Concerned about a fella dressed up as a woman? They never took the kids to a pantomime? Well, I tell you what, it's all good, dear. Are you sure this just isn't you trying to have a go at him? Why would I do this? Hmm? He does all the work, I look after the bar. We are a good team. It's just a scary look is making the little children cry. This cannot be a good thing. OK, leave it with me. Can't have people complaining. Mm. I'll tell him he can't come just as Leslie no more. I think this is the best. Yeah, right. Anyway, get the spark for you. Yes, Janie. Adios, Leslie. <laughs> OK, balls are in short supply, so you'll have to go gentle with me. Oh, that sounds like fun. Can we watch? Why don't you join in? Absolutely. How about mixed doubles? What do you think I've been? I think it's safe to say with us four at the table, doubles have never been so mixed. Smashing. I'll go get the other two bats. And I'll get the drinks. Perfect. I'm afraid you'll have to go easy on me. I'm not a natural sportsman. I've always been good at sports. I don't know why. Anything with balls, and you can't keep me off it. You don't say. Any word on Troy's dad? I spoke to Troy this morning. He's stable. I think if his condition doesn't deteriorate, Troy will come out for the second week of our holiday. Oh, lovely. Then it'll be the three of you. Makes it a bit more exciting, doesn't it? Well, no. Kenneth works for us in our salon, so he'll be going back. I see. I had a Saturday job in a hair salon when I was at school. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I say a hair salon. It was more of a beauty parlour. Well, I say a beauty parlour. It was more of a massage parlour. Well, I say a massage parlour. It was more yes, of I a... Yes, I think I understand. Here you are. A pre-match warm-up and oranges for half-time, albeit with a double vodka in them. Oh, I love shots. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, but it was free. Oh. <gasps> it's like that game we had when we were kids. Hungry hippos? No, that long bird used to dip her head into the glass. I don't think we need to bring your mother into this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Game on! Gavin was saying you work for him at the hair salon. Well, I like to think I work with him. He likes to think that, but he actually works for me. Shall we serve? Why not? Hmm? Ow! Oh, sorry. Are you all right? 
apart from the ping pong ball embedded in my stomach. Yeah, fine. Right. Bob Marley, One Love. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Who is it? Bob Marley, One Love. Oh, is it when the stairs on? What are you talking about? This Bob fella. Is he on next? No, Bob Marley sang a song called One Love. Did he? Oh, lovely. Right, so uh, what's the score then? One, One love. love! Oh, yeah, right. My serve again. Here we go. <laughs> Look, we may go and sit down and catch the last couple of hours of sun. All right, no problem. See you later. Oh, yeah, see you later. <laughs> no way, absolutely no way. Oh, come on. Remember when you used that B-Day in the hotel at your Cheryl's wedding? Well, it's just like that, except you're moving instead of the water. Get lost. Come on, man, it'll be brilliant. I'll tell you what, you and your dad go down it and I'll take your picture at the bottom. Take your picture anyway. Yeah, there you go, they take your picture anyway. You have to pay for it, but it's a big one in the frame. No, your mother's right, she should stay here. Well, we need someone to look after our stuff anyway. Go on, hurry up. Hello again. Oh, hiya. <laughs> Did you manage to get an ice cream? Oh, yes. Finished chop queuing for half an hour, but it's all part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Could see my daughter, have you? Seem to have got separated. Oh no, I haven't. I know I shouldn't worry. She's not a kiddie anymore. She was 40 last week. Have you not thought about getting them to make an announcement? No, she didn't like to make a fuss. She didn't even want a party. I don't mean about her being 40. I meant an announcement about her being lost. I'll give her another 10 minutes. You know what kids are like. Yeah. <laughs> Heard from Jeff and Chantel? Oh, yes, I speak to Jeff every day. Well, I don't actually speak to him. I send him messages on his mobile phone. He's got all the gadgets. Oh, yeah. I spoke to Tell yesterday. Are you on Twitter? Am I on what? Twitter. It's like email, only a bit more hit and miss. Oh, no, not really. I tried texting, but my phone keeps trying to finish my sentences for me. Oh. Well, on Twitter, if you follow someone, you can send them a message and they usually answer, unless they're famous and then they usually don't bother. Mind you, I was following Bill Oddie for weeks, but it turned out it wasn't him. It was a psychiatric patient in Eastbourne pretending to be Bill Oddie. It certainly had me fooled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not pushing him, just having a look. Oh, come on, what's going on? Oh, bloody hell, not you again. Oh, yeah. Vamos, vamos, que hay gente esperando, rápido. Tell her I'll do it in my own time. How can I tell her I don't speak the bloody lingo? I'm not ready to do it yet. Well, stand over there, then. But then I might not do it at all. Oh, for Christ's sake, you're going down a bloody slide, not being pushed out of 747. What? 747. It's an aeroplane. Oh, great. Now you make me even more nervous talking about aeroplanes. There's nothing to be nervous about. Just get out of the way. No. Yes. Yes, just oh. get out of the way. If you just... Oh. Yes, oh. Oh. you just... Oh, they're taking the time. Are you waiting for someone to come down this slide? Yeah. Oh, anybody I know? My son and my husband. Oh, lovely. Somebody's making a right carry on at the top. Can you hear them? That'd be me shouting like that if they got me up there. <laughs> Not that they would. I don't like heights or water. I'm not that keen on the sun, to be honest. What you doing? Oh, heck. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> What's going 
way now. Here we go! She won't come down on her own! What? So you just thought you'd get in here with her? No, you ran in over me! You can't push me down! <laughs> Will you shut up? My knickers! I lost my knickers on the way down! And knickers! <laughs> I think she means her bikini bottom. Get out of that rubber ring now! Why? No! Get out of the... <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you, I can't see! Here. <laughs> right, here. Oh, I don't know they're into everything at that age, aren't they? Here. <laughs> on the beach, I'm getting sand in my camel toe. Short moaning, we're nearly there. Why are we walking on the sand? I thought it'd be romantic. All right. Um, listen, um, why don't we go back to my apartment? It'll be empty for another couple of hours. Listen, Liam, I think you're a really nice guy, but... But what? I thought you said you liked me. Well, I think you're really funny. Yeah. A lot of my mates say that. Oh! 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 Careful! Oh! Aww. It was just a matter of time until you two crazy kids got together. You look so sweet. It reminds me of my cousin Leanne. She's got some with learning difficulties as well. Come on! I need a vodka! <laughs> It was a genuine misunderstanding. Yeah, all right, no problem. Now, will you just sit down and leave us alone? Yeah, I feel I owe some sort of apology to your wife. <sighs> you don't want to do that? Seriously, I feel terrible if I don't come over and speak to her. Believe me, you'll feel a hell of a lot worse if you do. Table. You're a good looking man. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, come on. That was our lovely Janice Garvey there with the Dolly Parton number. Here you come again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a ten minute interview. Hey, that was brilliant. What did she want? She came over to apologise. Funnily enough, she didn't say what for. Like she said, just a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Said somewhat about Mick being a good looking fella. You what? No, she didn't. By God, I don't know how you manage with just a knife and fork. What do you mean? You'd think you need a spoon with all the shit stirring you do. Oh, do you mind not talking about S H I T? You're putting me off my curry. We met that woman at the water park. My dad got stuck in her ring. And I ended up with the knickers on my head. It wasn't as bad as it sounds. I'm going to eat that or just play with it? It's pasta. I'm not doing carbohydrates. So why did you order it? Because I thought I could pick out the chicken. So why aren't you picking out the chicken? Because it's in a cream sauce. Oh, should have had this curry. It's gorgeous. Mind you, I'll have to be careful. What do you mean? Let's just say I'll be putting an extra balance on that pull-out bed tonight. The last thing you want to do is follow through after a lambuna. Oh! Hello, boys! <laughs> We forgot to ask you earlier. I don't suppose you've got any spare change, have you? Not really. Why? Oh, it's for a very good cause.
seeing you. I'm sorry, I'm not leaving my best friend here with Uncle Fester. It's her uncle. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Listen, I've been asking around about what you said. About what I said? Yeah, about Leslie frightening the kiddies and that. I didn't say they were frightened. I just said they were confused. Is it a man, a woman? And they asked their parents strange questions. I say live and let live, but it's not fair on the little children. You're right. It's too confusing. That's why we're giving the poolside bar a proper theme. What is a theme? We're making it into a drag bar, you know, with all the men dressed as women. You are not bringing more like him. No. Oh. Just you and Leslie. What? Jenny, no. You can't do this. How will leave? Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. It's been lovely working with you. Jenny, please, I need this job. Then you better be in an hour early tomorrow. Why? To practice walking in your deals. Jenny, please, no. Jenny, you can't do this, please. I want to hold them like they do in Texas, please. Oh. Hold them, let them hit me, raise it, baby, stay with me. I love them. Okay, intuition, play the cards from straight to start. And after he's been hooked, I'll play the one that's on his heart. Oh, 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 oh. I get him hot, show him what I got. Oh, oh, oh.
Papa 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 Our very own Leslie with Lady Gaga's poker face apparently. Now we have a real Benetton favourite, the one and only Sean Foster Conley. <laughs> Moment. What do you want? First of all, let me just say I can't imagine what you've been going through. What are you talking about? Well, you know, all your problems. The world at your feet and then suddenly lose your husband, find out he's up to his eyeballs in debt and be left destitute with not so much as a euro to your name. Are you taking the piss? And so? In the spirit of all that is Benidorm, Jacqueline and I have been taking a collection from the residents of the Solana throughout the day and raised 33 euros and 40 cents. And furthermore... First of all, let me tell you, I am not destitute. I am merely between residences. That exists in the world can never I need your pity, and I certainly don't need charity. I'll admit, my Mel had his problems in business, but he taught me one valuable lesson. There's more to life than money. What do you think having a cliffside villa made me happy? Do you think having a jacuzzi made me happy? Do you think being able to go shopping whenever I want, not worry about the cost, made me happy? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. None of those things made me happy. They were nice, but they didn't make me happy. The one thing that made me happy was the love of a good man and a bespoke collection is not going to bring him back. So you can stick your 33 euros where the monkey keeps his nuts. Well, it's not only the 30... Oh, just go away. Why don't you give it to charity? Do you have a favourite charity, Madge? Oh, bring the charity. You keep the money. Looking at the state of the pair of you, you obviously need it much more than I do. Oh, no, we couldn't do that. You hear what I said? Keep the bloody money. OK. Well, it's very kind of you. I'll get the name changed on the cheque in the morning. Hey, hey, hang on a minute. What cheque? The cash is from the collection, but I was trying to tell you, the Solana have also given a cheque for 500 euros. <laughs> it's very kind of you, Madge. This is our second holiday this year, and we're certainly feeling the pinch. <laughs> I'll get the name changed in the morning. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, my God. They're the fat, twisting bastards. They've got my money. Come here, you. Come here. Come back. Come back. You're not getting away with that. That's my money. That's my money. Just have 